For today's video, I want to go over the OnePlus 3's display. The OnePlus 3 has a 5.5 inch 1080p display. Well, it's not up to today's flagship standards, that is a 1440p display, a Quad HD display. I feel, personally for me, that the 1080p display does just fine. I've said this before in an earlier video, but when I use this display, I'm not complaining that it's 1080p. It's not something that I notice off the bat, but I know there are a lot of people who are upset that it's not 1440p. There are a lot of people that are complaining that it's not color accurate or that it's too overly saturated. Maybe it's just me, but it's not something that I'm really noticing. I think the display is bright. The viewing angles are really good. I can look at the screen outdoors and I don't really have much trouble. And at 1080p, I feel like it's probably saving me some battery as well. But today's video is going to be really quick. I'm just going to be testing the minimum brightness and the maximum brightness of this display. A lot of people have been asking about it. Well, maybe not a lot, a couple of you, but it's something that I've been curious about, so might as well test it. I've already done a minimum and maximum brightness test for other flagship phones, so I'm going to be recording the results of this and then putting it down on a list to show you guys how it compares with the other phones that I have, or that I've tested, I mean. So the first test that I want to try out on this AMOLED screen is the brightness test the maximum brightness test. You can see here that I have a white background that I'm going to use to test the maximum brightness on this phone. I've used this exact same file for my other phones, so it's the same constant here. I have my light meter right here. Turn this on. All right, let's see what we get here. Looks like 792 is the brightest I've got. Okay, so I just checked my results on my other display test for maximum brightness, and this is actually the brightest that I've had out of all my phones. The second brightest was my Samsung Galaxy S7, which got 720 lux. Yeah, after testing my S7, I'm getting around the 700s. So it's about the same Lux reading as I did in my previous test for the S7. So that puts the OnePlus 3 at number one as my brightest display. I know people talk about nits on a phone and that's probably a better way to describe how bright a screen can get, but this is all I got. I'm not saying that I don't trust what the reports say, but this is my only method of testing and right now this is the brightest I got. Okay, so I'm gonna do a minimum brightness test. This is actually the same website that I pulled up on my other minimum brightness test. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the brightness all the way down to the lowest possible slider and then test it off the light meter and see what results I get here. Okay, so this looks exactly like how I had it in my last minimum brightness test. We'll go ahead and test it out. I think my lowest one there was the LG G5 at around 2 lux. And I know I had another one at 2 lux. I can't remember if it was the S7 or if it was the HTC 10. Anyway, two was the lowest I had. I'm assuming it's gonna be around the same. Yep, two is the lowest I got. So despite being a 1080p panel, this phone currently has the highest Lux rating of any smartphone that I've owned, or at least that I've tested, and it also ties with the lowest possible. For those that haven't seen any of my tests regarding the display, the reason I do a minimum brightness test is because there are a lot of times that, let's say I'm going to bed and I'm reading the news, I wanna have the display as low as possible so that it's not too bright for me in a dark room, or if I'm at a theater and I need to check something out really quick, I don't wanna be bothering everyone else. Okay, so the last thing I want to do here is just compare all four of these phones and the colors on the display. You can tell here there's a real discrepancy when we're talking about AMOLED and LCD. The OnePlus 3 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 here on the end are both AMOLED displays. And when we're talking about the red color, it looks more on the orange side than it does on the red. The HTC 10 and the LG G5 have a better representation of red. Let's go ahead and go with green. The OnePlus 3 and the S7 give more of like a lime green kind of color, while the HTC 10 and the LG G5 are more of a deeper green. Blue is next. Again, the blues are a little brighter on the OnePlus 3 and the S7. The HTC 10 and the LG G5 give off a more natural or a more deeper blue. And we have white. And then gray. All four of these grays, the shades of gray, look completely different. I forgot to note that all four of these phones are at its maximum brightness at 100%. Black. And you can see here, as far as an AMOLED display for the OnePlus 3 and the Samsung Galaxy S7, they're able to turn off the actual pixels to give a deep, deep, like, 
completely true black. The HEC 10 and the LG G5 are not capable of doing that, which is why it still looks like it's lit up. I mean, it is lit up, so you don't get a deep black like these other two. Yellow. Again, the AMOLED displays come as a very bright, kind of neonish color. Magenta. Cyan. And that's it. Anyway, that'll be my video today. The only other thing that I wanted to point out as far as the display goes, as far as the screen goes, is that you can actually tweak some settings already. I know that they are trying to put an update out to enable sRGB, which is great, but there's also something here called color balance. And right now it's on the warmer side. So the further I go to the right, the warmer it gets, the further left I go, the colder or the cooler it gets. And you can tell here as I move it, as I move it to the right, kind of has more of a yellowish reddish tint. And as I slide it to the left, you can tell it's getting blue right there. So I don't keep it in the middle, I keep it a little more on the warmer side. I think I have something cool that I'm planning to film tonight, so we'll see if I can get that out tomorrow. I'll see you later.